180 missiles raining down on Israel Tuesday, one day before Rosh Hashanah. That's the beginning of the holiest Jewish holidays. And in five days, the one year memorial of the October 7th massacre in Israel. A local rabbi tells Courtney Friedman all of these events intersecting this week, carrying a heavy weight for the Jewish community. Right before Iran sent almost 200 missiles sailing over Israel, seven Israelis were killed in a gun and knife attack in the town of Jaffa. Immediately, Temple Beth El's senior rabbi Mara Nathan checked on loved ones in Israel. All reported they were in their bomb shelters or their safe rooms, and it is certainly something that makes Jewish people across the United States and I think across the world feel anxious. Especially at a time meant for celebration. Wednesday at sundown begins the Jewish New Year Rosh Hashanah. It's a time where Jewish people come together in their homes and in their synagogues. This isn't the first year it's been harder to rejoice. Of course, last year on October 7th, there was just such tragedy in Israel, and we're still you know, living with that today. And so these holidays were already going to be more somber than usual. And not just for the loss of Israeli lives. There's been so much loss across the Middle East. So many innocent people have been hurt. And so whatever side you feel sympathetic to, it's really these are the people that are losing on all sides. But it is the Jewish people who are feeling the heaviness during this specific Holy Week. I would speak for all the Jewish community in San Antonio that takes its security very, very seriously, certainly at the holidays every single year. Anyone who is thinking about whether or not they should go to services um, at their synagogues, they should know that it is a safe place to be. And in San Antonio specifically, Nathan feels very supported by people of all faiths and backgrounds. A sense of connection and solace and even give you some strength to face the challenges that are out there. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.